very much for inviting me, distinguished guests, res respected friends, ladies and gentlemen. I want to first express my appreciation to Ms. Kaliba Kasongo and to the board of director of Here Congo, as well as Rotary Club. Uh, I also want to extend my gratitude to the sponsor of this breakfast forum and to each of you of creating the time to join us today to discuss such as important subject matter in Hamaharik, my native tongue that we said Amasagnalo. Human trafficking is now the equivalent of modern day slavery and a vast majority of case trafficking has become a corrupt mode of migration which transforms seeming legal migratory project into nightmare. In many cases, legal employment, sham, involve deception, explosion, and the rise in the inc incidence of unpaid wage, passport, conf confinement, lack of job training, and even violence against legal migrant worker, indicating an overlap between legal migration and trafficking. There are more than 2.5 million people, mainly women and children, who are ad abducted annually from around the world. It is strangering and unable and become as all to a call for action. According to U.S. Department of the State, <coughs> Ethiopia is tier two nation. The Ethiopian government has increased to effort to prosecute and punish transactional trafficking of, uh, of uh, Article 635 of Ethiopian Criminal Code, trafficking in women and minor criminalized sex trafficking and prescribed punishment not ex exceeding five years in prison, Article 596 enslavement and 597 trafficking in women and children, outlaw slavery and labor trafficking and prescribed punishment of 5 to 20 year rigorous imprisonment. The purpose of my visit in the States is to fall. I am here to share with you the consider considering the strategic number in human trafficking globally Ethiopia or Africa altogether is not left behind human trafficking, destroy the fabric of our society, silent while many profit from this modern day slavery, it takes different form, form in Africa for women and children who are being forced into work, commercial sex and well as sex slave in conflict areas such as Congo, Sudan, and other parts of Africa to children who are adapted to become soldiers. I am sure so many women, men, and children are victims of human trafficking right here in your backyard. It has become an area of concerning clear there is a need for the world to come together and collaborate to achieve bold results in combating this world pandemic. My humble contribute to join effort with the other around the world who are showing trend and success on this fight. While I am visiting Miami, I will be meeting with experts in this field to discuss and share best practice about this global issue, listening and learning from you while help me to formulate the foundation and the blueprint to improving the situation and moving my country out of the tier two status. I want to work with you and any agency to ensure Ethiopia meets the minimum standard of the elimination of trafficking in person and compliment, co compliance with the Trafficking Victim Protection Act. Again, I thank you all of your time for the opportunity to share information on this important matter of our time. Thank you.
many of the, uh, um, sla they sound like they're slaves, uh, come from Ethiopia? To where? From Ethiopia? From here? To here, yeah, to the uh, United States. I'm in it's very minimal. I mean, I'm sorry, I have to interject and help because you know, we're working on this together. Yeah. It's very minimal, uh, but most of the, the trafficking is kind of internal in, in, um, in Ethiopia and uh, bordering other countries like the uh, Middle East. Yeah, you could like, share the story that yeah, you shared yeah. with me. Uh, we have legal uh, brokers uh, who took slavery from the villagers. They don't have any know-how. And uh, some of them, they go to some African country like uh, Libya, South Africa, and then they are successful in business. And then the other, they see how they are successful. So they go indirect through illegal uh, uh, brokers, and then they will pay them. I have to share you one experience that I have. Uh, three weeks ago, uh, around 50 people, they just are crossing uh, illegal to Somali border. One broker, he collect money from them, and then he put them, 50 people, inside the container, and then he sealed the container, and then he drive too near to the border of Somali. After that, the guy, he just, he collect money from them, and then he ran away. After four days, some police uh, passing that area, and then they saw one car with 20 feet container. They just nearby, it's uh, smell, it's smelly, and then they broke that container. When they opened, uh, the 45 people was dead inside that container. Yeah, because of what? Uh, because of nothing. Yeah, he took their money, and then those people are dying. Uh, actually, I want to share a comment about human trafficking. <laughs> Human trafficking is not always sex related. In fact, there are people, as, as you said, that people pay to go for jobs. I mean, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. There have been many instances where they go to Middle East as uh, housemates. And in fact, about uh, six months ago, uh, there was a Sri Lankan maid who had gone before who was looking out for a baby. And the baby choked on the milk and died. And she got prosecuted for, uh, for murder and she was sentenced to death. And she was killed by the Saudi government. Uh, and uh, this was protested by the Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, uh, you know, UN HCR. But it is amazing that the rules of, uh, of, of, you know, how human trafficking is not just sex, it's just absolute abuse of women by these rich countries mm -hmm. with no regard for human rights. And we think that these guys are very good. It's a Saudi Arabia. It's amazing. It's amazing. So these people are, are enslaved in uh, Ethiopia and then sent to neighboring countries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other uh, story that I want to share, same story, but it's different side. It's a uh, big issue on CNN. I hear that news on CNN, BBC. It was three months, four months before. Uh, those people, they are crossing by boat. They are around 100 people, and then in Yemen border, and then they took them from boat. They kill all of them. They steal their organ, and then they just bury them. Mm -hmm. So one Yemeni guy, he, he knows the story about that. He called some news, people from the news, and then they came, and they went uh, to that side. Yeah, side. They just open. Uh, sorry about my English. <laughs> uh, they just buried them, and then when they took out from there, all all of them they have same surgery. Yeah, they steal their organ. They will sell. You know, it's human blood. They make money by human blood. So that's when it just affecting me. I said we have to work. Hard. We have to do something. We have to stop this illegal immigra immigrants, illegal slavery, or so. So it seems like it's an issue so far away from where we are. But how can we help? What can the average person do to help? Okay. What do 
way yeah sure uh, there it, it seems very far but it is actually not so far um, like she said before there's modern day slavery right here in our, in our backyard it's huge in Miami um, there are different forms of human trafficking the one that she described might have seemed to be far but they're all prosecuted under the same laws so her work here today is try to um, communicate with experts here in Miami um, at the state level, uh, the office of the state attorney. We're having a really ni uh, nice breakfast tomorrow with different experts. But on a daily basis, it's really educating our girls and our women. That's what you can do to contribute. And um, most of the, the sex slaves or the, the, the victims of uh, human trafficking are just poor people trying to make it. So if we start by educating them, edu educating the men, then we can we can help reduce the, the, the issue. And, and being vigilant about what's happening. Yes. It's poverty anyway. Yes, it's poverty. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's being done on national levels with governments to try to stop the um, trafficking that's going on? In Ethiopia? In Ethiopia and some other countries? Um, you know, government by he try to do the best things, but without people supporting, he can't do nothing. He can't stop those illegal uh, brokers. So we people, we have the one who uh, we have to be together. We have to support our government. We have to be one. And then, if we stop paying them illegally, why don't we pay legal? We have to use the direct way. So now we work uh, with the government. We have a green light from my government. So we start processing the issue. And there, there's also um, universal standards that are they're set to, you know, for different countries to, to follow. Uh, for instance, the, the big issue in Ethiopia is really poverty. That's why people get trapped in being you know, um, victims of uh, human trafficking. So providing jobs. Uh, would help them stay in the country rather than trying to, you know, stay crossing, you know, the border to go to uh, Middle East and being uh, uh, treated that way there. So um, Ethiopia right now is in a uh, considered as a tier two country, meaning that the government is doing some efforts to try to combat um, human trafficking, but they're not there yet. It, it, it involves a uh, tremendous amount of resources, more, you know, financially, to track those who are doing those things and also to take care of the victims. So that's the kind of where the, the situation is mm -hmm. there now. So she's here to try to, to pull everybody together uh, and, and try to get Ethiopia out of that state. Yeah. We need your support and help. We can share your experience, our experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it always men who do <coughs> human trafficking or women do human trafficking? No, women also. Yeah. Every day, our woman they went for work to Gulf country, Arab country. Yeah. They just abusing them. A day, hundred women. They would go to Dubai, Qatar, and Kuwait. They just harassing them. Just to comment on Dubai, uh, Dubai, I was with.